Hey guys, Rainer and Shades here, exercise my first amendment rights vlog style. Now, I didn't think I would be talking about this this early. I figured I wouldn't be saying anything related to the Super Bowl halftime show until maybe two weeks before the actual game takes place, because that's usually the time when I find out who's playing the Super Bowl halftime show, but lo and behold, here we are talking about the Super Bowl halftime show. So, I heard from my good buddy, I am Joseph Paul, formerly known as Inquisitive Joe, on Facebook. He posted a link saying that this year, the Super Bowl halftime show will be performed by Bruno Mars. At first, I thought that, that he was joking, that this wasn't exactly true, that this may be a rumor. A, because, like I said, I, d I didn't think that this news would be out this early, and B, because, come on, Bruno Mars, come on, doesn't really strike you as kind of a big Super Bowl act, does he? But, it is true. A, because, you know, a bunch of people I know have been talking about it, and B, because Bruno Mars's Facebook page has even posted about it, saying, we're going to the Super Bowl. So, yep. That's the halftime show this year. So what do I think about this? Well, I don't exactly hate Bruno Mars. I actually find him to be one of the more likable pop artists of this generation, and one of the more talented, I should say. I mean, at the moment, my favorite radio song of this year is Locked Out of Heaven, a song of his. I That song is really fun and catchy. Bruno Mars is actually an artist that I guess respect and to an extent like. I mean, I don't think he's perfect, obviously. I think the Lazy Song is fucking retarded and uh, his song Just The Way You Are, it's a sappy piece of crap, but Locked Out of Heaven, it's a really fun song, especially compared to those. But do I see Bruno Mars as a Super Bowl halftime show main event type of performer? Not really. Because when I think of Bruno Mars, I don't exactly picture, you know, football fans or sports fans as part of his main demographic. I don't exactly picture them as maybe even part of his audience at all. To be honest, I feel as though I guess if anybody's going to be excited about this, it'll probably be uh, the, the guy's girlfriends or wives, and the guys can say, oh, Bruno Mars is playing the halftime show, so you can watch the game with me. You know, it could be something like that. Am I right, fellas? But really the problem that I see in this, and I guess I've had this problem for a good while now, is that the people that plan or promote the Super Bowl halftime show really don't know their audience anymore. And I don't think they've known their audience for quite some time. They've gone through a good bit of format changes in my lifetime alone. Let's go back to the probably the first one that I can remember. I'm sure we all remember 2004. If you don't remember what happened back then, then you've probably heard of what happened back in the 2004 Super Bowl with Janet Jackson's infamous wardrobe malfunction that caused everything to go through a complete fucking format change, and we started seeing a bunch of classic rock artists playing the halftime show. Now, it was basically like that for a good long while, for pr about half a decade, actually, up until 2010 with The Who's performance, which, in my opinion, was god-awful. It really made me feel embarrassed to say that I'm a fan of The Who. The Who is just one of those bands that really is just past their prime, and I really think they need to break up, especially since both Keith Moon and John Entwistle are both dead. I don't really see any point at all in The Who continuing. I think Pete and Roger both need to retire, to be honest. I feel that way about a lot of other bands, but I'm getting off track here. Point is... Their performance sucked, and because their performance sucked, they there went through another format change, and we started seeing more current artists again. Now, I don't exactly have a problem with artists being current. I really don't give a shit how old or new an artist is. But with all these format changes, 
I really think that the people that plan all this out really just aren't taking their audience into account. They're just going with, you know, whichever artist sounds like they'll be the least controversial or they'll get them in the least amount of trouble with the FCC. And that's where Bruno Mars comes in because he's a really clean cut artist. You know, his songs can be played anywhere and there's really nothing at all vulgar or controversial or anything about his songs. But his types of songs, again, I don't exactly think really fit the football or sports mood. Like I said, I don't exactly think of football or sports or sports fans when I think of Bruno Mars or Bruno Mars' audience. That being said, I don't exactly think a lot of football fans here are really going to be entertained, really. I mean, let's be honest here. Do you really see a lot of football fans actually at that stadium, really just rocking out? to a song like Just The Way You Are. I mean, I'd totally rock out to Locked Out of Heaven, like I said before, but Bruno Mars has other songs that I don't exactly think get you really pumped up. Like, they don't make you feel like you're watching a football game. But thinking about this also makes me wonder, have these people ever known who their audience was? And part of me thinks maybe not. They could have been pulling moves like this longer than I can really rem remember. I mean, some artists that they've had, I, I think, are, to be honest, timeless. And, you know, appeal to a wide variety of different people and were pretty good choices for Super Bowl acts. Like, when, like the classic rock artists, you know, the one artist that I really think was a really good choice and put on a really good show was Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen is one of those artists that really just appeals to a wide variety of different types of people, young, old, male, female. Bruce Springsteen has a very, very varied audience. And Paul McCartney, too, also. Not a lot of the other classic rock artists that I remember performing the Super Bowl, I can really say have a very varied audience. I can't really say that about somebody like Tom Petty or the Rolling Stones. I can't really say that about artists like those. I do like them, but that doesn't mean that they pe appeal to a wide variety of different types of people, young, old, male, female, whatever. And those are the types of artists that I really think should be performing something like the Super Bowl halftime show. And at the same time, they aren't too old, so you know they're not going to suck live, and they're not too current either, so it doesn't seem like they're taking too easy of a route like they're doing with Bruno Mars. So if you were to ask me, Shades, who do you think should be performing the Super Bowl halftime show? I would go with somebody from pretty much the direct middle between older and current. And when I think of the middle of that, I think of the 90s. And a 90s artist that I would really like to see play the Super Bowl halftime show that I think fits the profile of what I was describing earlier would be the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Red Hot Chili Peppers, I think, are another band that appeal to a wide variety of different people. They're not too old, and they still hold some relevance today. That's another thing about Bruce Springsteen. He still holds some relevance today. Chili Peppers, too, hold some relevance today. And also, they kick ass, so you can't go wrong with that either. I'd love to see the Chili Peppers perform at this type of an event. But unfortunately, we're stuck going down this route of what is going to be the least controversial, what is going to get the TV station in the least amount of trouble with the FCC, you know? Because we don't want a big uproar like what happened in 2004 that inspired the Family Guy episode about the FCC. We don't want that, do we? Now, Joe and I were actually talking on the post that I shared on my Facebook page about uh, Bruno Mars performing the halftime show. He said that, you know, there should be a fan voting system or a forum where 
the audience themselves actually, you know, picks a band. And I think that's actually a good idea, because then the people would actually be listening to their audience, which is basically what people, what these people are failing to do now. They're not listening to their audience, they're just going by which will be the least controversial, and I don't think that's the right way to look at this. We need to think outside the box and go by what the audience wants, because I'm not exactly sure the audience is going to be the most pleased, the football-watching audience, the football fan portion of the audience, with this decision of having Bruno Mars come perform. Like I said, I don't hate Bruno Mars, I don't dislike him, I don't think he sucks, but could have picked somebody better, somebody not too current, somebody older that still holds some relevance and appeals to a wider variety of people than Bruno Mars does. That's all I really have to say about that. Thank you for watching this video, and to any football fans watching this video, enjoy the season, I guess. I'm Shades, and I will see you next time.